Uh, the first thing you need is mobile uncle tools which is available in the link mentioned below on this video. Okay, so once you've installed that APK file, this is how it will uh, show up on your screen. This is the application's uh, icon, mobile uncle. Now when you click on that, you need to have new recovery.img file on your phone, uh, on your SD card basically, and you'll find that on the link that is mentioned below. On mobile uncle tools, and uh, hit get started, then hit the Chinese icon on the right side, and then you have flash recovery from SD card. When you hit that, the new recovery.img that you had placed on your SD card will show up. When you hit that, hit OK. And your phone will start up into uh, Clockwork Recovery Mod. This is Clockwork Recovery Mod. So you have to copy the ROM file, it is a zip file onto your uh, uh, SD card and this is how you, uh, once you have it on your SD card, you have to factory reset your phone. The third option on Clockwork Recovery Mod, select that and hit yes. Your phone will get factory resetted. After that, you need to clear your cache partition. That's the fourth option on Clock Recovery Mod. Once your cache partition is cleared, you have to go into Mounts and Storage. That's the second last option. And Format System. And then hit Yes. After your system is formatted, select Go Back and hit the Power button. Then go to Advanced. Wipe Dalvik Cache and hit yes. Then go back and hit the power button. Okay, now we're gonna flash CyanogenMod. mod. To flash it, hit install zip from SD card and then hit choose zip from SD card. Then find the zip file for Cyanogen that is mi 280 underscore cm underscore short underscore v3 dot zip. Uh, once you hit that, select install. And your phone will open the update package and install the update package. It takes about two to three minutes for it to install CM Shot. Okay, now after your update is installed, this is what your screen will show. So you need to go back to uh, do a factory reset first. You have to do a factory reset, and after the factory reset, you need to clear your cache partition. And after your cache wipe, just clear the Dalvik cache. That's an advanced wipe Dalvik cache. Okay, now that this is done, you need to go back and hit reboot system now. Your system will reboot into Cyanogen Mod 7. This is a Cyanogen boot screen. Cyan uh, we've added a Cyanogen 9 boot screen to Cyanogen 7 for Spice MI280. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right there on the top. Thank you.